Okay, so it's been about like four days and I'm really worried because I'm pretty sure Jim doesn't like me and he's going through menopause or something. I don't know what it is, but he has treated Katrina like an asshole and Brent is just completely like, oh, I'm from Georgia, I don't really know. And he's just a complete asshole. I really don't know. I want to be his friend, but I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know. I'm done. I heard that Catherine talking about me. And first of all, I'm not going through menopause, alright? I'm a mama's boy, okay? Alright? I'm a little bit sensitive, and I don't like it when people get up all in my shit. I say, don't, don't touch my phone. She touches my phone anyway. You know, get out of my shit. Second of all, I don't fart all the time. My stomach gurgles, alright? It, it's done it since I was a little kid, it just gurgles all the time. And she thinks that I need fucking Beano or something. I don't need Beano. I don't fart. I need that pink stuff. I don't know. Pink bismuth. <laughs> I need pink bismuth. That fucking Keith. I can't... I can't take him seriously anymore. It's every morning I come into my room and all I want to do is take a nice hot shower. A warm shower to wash off the stench of failure at the end of the day. And Keith is waiting there for me. <laughs> Keith. Keith, who just came back from hungry or some shit, is in the shower using all of the hot water from the hot water heater. Save some water for the fish, you know? And he's just like, Bellowing out, oh beautiful for spacious skies, America the beautiful, and he's singing, and he just keeps going, and I can't take it anymore, and I don't know who to vent to, I can't vent to Svet Catherine, because Svet Catherine keeps taking my eggs in the morning. Which is funny, because Brie stole her eggs too, and I'm tired of it. I'm going crazy. I want, I want to go home. I can't stay in this house anymore. I, I, gotta, I gotta get out of here. Everyone in the house thinks I'm sexually frustrated. I'm not. I like poontang, alright? All these girls have such bootylicious booties in their tight little blue shorts, and I can't get enough of it. Brie, what a sexy Asian bitch. God. But these girls really are like my best friends. Don't get me wrong. You know, Sometimes I just want to go into the yard and play croquet and not have everyone bust my balls. It's like that's what everyone wants to do. They just want to walk in and bust my balls. Since the second I walked in this house and that Katie or whatever her name is just starts making eggs. Like, is that, is that all they do in Russia? The guys in the house get uncomfortable when I touch them. And every time I sit next to Kevin, he farts. So Kevin started talking to me yesterday about how I'm sexually frustrated, and I, I think that the reason he farts is because I touch him. And he thinks I'm sexually frustrated, but I'm not, honey. I'm not sexually frustrated. I'm very sexually pleased with myself. So Kevin, you can suck my dick, because I'm not putting up with that bullshit. I'm not putting up with that bullshit. Alright? I'm tough. Alright? So that Catherine needs to go back to Russia. Alright, she made eggs, and they were so fucking delicious that I had to steal them. And you can't blame me for that, because eggs are awesome. And then she gets all up in my shit, because I stole her eggs. But she left them out. She left them on the oven. Like, she was standing kind of right there with this bat, but I took them. And they were awesome. And she got mad at me, and she purposely went into my room, and she stole my photo albums of my family to get, to blackmail me. To blackmail me! Me! Why would she blackmail me? Just falling cracker. Crackers. Oh! We're <laughs> recording! I'm just like... <laughs> All you haters out there, look, I like booze. <laughs>
that Catherine? You're like my best friend. I can talk. I can talk to you about everything. Really? Are you yeah. sure you haven't like backstabbed me or talked about me? Oh, no, never. Because these confessionals, from what I hear, can get pretty, no. pretty nasty. Oh, no, never. Pretty fast. I love your hair. I know it's beautiful. Until my mom died it last night is pretty bad. Your I'm mom? Your mom it. came to the house. I didn't see her. I know. Well, she only had a plane ticket for one night, so it wasn't anything that was like, gonna last for more than a week. I'm sorry you couldn't meet her. She's a beautiful woman, and I don't know. I, just, I feel like crying when I think about it because a year ago she had breast cancer. Oh, don't even get started. With I know. Don't even get started with this. You're gonna get me started. I just feel awful because I take every day for granted, and like I feel bad that my mom could have easily died and I didn't spend enough time with her. So. When she comes here, it's just like, I want to take every moment of it and soak it in. I don't know when it could end, you know? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be crying. No, like no, no, you Maybe should I be crying. Just... You should be crying. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your name again? Did you just fart? No, my stomach just gargled. Everyone just wants her to give more. Like, why is the song called Give Me More? Because everyone just wants more and more. It's like she's a fucking human being.